Yo, what's going on y'all? It's JD and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, I wanna talk about training specificity. That means having a goal in mind and training towards that specific goal. Now, if you're somebody who's just starting out calisthenics, I would recommend building a base with a wide variety of exercises. But once you get to about that intermediate level, you know, you've got a, you've developed a little base with the fundamentals. Uh, you know, you're proficient at pull-ups, push-ups, dips, uh, you know, all those different things. I would recommend having specific goals. Maybe it might be skills. Maybe it might be getting stronger in certain movements and training specifically towards those goals. And one thing that I would like to recommend to everybody is simplify your training. You don't need to go out every single day and have a eight exercise workout. Sometimes it's good to spend an hour working on three to four different movements. Or maybe you might even wanna spend two hours working on four to five different movements and just shoring up those, those movements in general. Because if you're trying to build strength, you're gonna to wanna to hone in on specific exercises and you're gonna to wanna to hone in on specific muscle groups. So today I'm, I'm working on muscle ups. So what am I gonna work on when I'm working on muscle ups? Number one, I'm gonna work on the art of the muscle up in itself. And I'm trying to clean up my form on a muscle up. So I'm gonna get a set of these in, see how many clean muscle ups I can get. Anyways, that was eight. Last one was a fail, but that's all right. But back to the point, working on specific movements. So other than doing muscle ups, what's something else that's gonna help me with muscle ups? Let's move over here to a shorter bar. Straight bar dips is a key component to the muscle up. So after I finish that muscle up set, come over here. Ten straight bar dips and another thing when it comes down to building strength is that you're gonna to want to focus on doing full range of motion and proper form you know I just dropped a video today and it was basically talking about the proper way to do a dip or the proper range of motion for doing a dip and somebody in the comment section left a comment which was correct that progressive overload is what's gonna get you swole and they said that you know a lot of prisoners do shorties or maybe half reps and they get swallowed up doing that but which is true but when it comes down to actually building the strength for specific movements and progressing the calisthenics i highly recommend that you don't just go for high volume on reps i recommend doing quality over quantity any day of the week now back to the specific training for muscle ups let's do a set of muscle up negatives this is another exercise that I highly recommend anybody who's trying to get better at their muscle ups. And essentially all it is, is doing the negative part of the movement. Coming down nice and slow, as slow as possible. Do one more of these. And I'll show you guys one more exercise. But like I was saying, quality is always gonna beat quantity, especially when it comes down to building strength and progressing at a specific goal. Now, when it comes down to getting shredded and getting ripped, if that's what you're training for, then you know, shit, more reps, the more the pump. So I'm not mad at you if that's what you're trying to get into. And there's nothing wrong with having that goal either. But this video is specifically for those of you who are trying to get strong, maybe on your muscle up, or get strong on your handstand push up, or get strong on you know, your front lever or different things of that nature. 
And uh, before I uh, leave you guys, this is one more exercise that you can do that's gonna help out with your muscle ups. And this is gonna be chest to bar pull ups. And the quantity doesn't have to be high. See, I just got a set of five in. You know, there's guys out there who can do 30 straight pull ups, but I doubt that you're gonna find anybody who can do 30 straight chest to bar pull ups. Now, a good set when I'm fresh might be a 10 piece on chest to bar pull ups, but it's gonna be very rare that you find anybody who's gonna be going into the 15s or the 20s when it comes down to chest to bar pull ups. And if they can, much respect to them. But like I said, the high volume stuff doesn't always equate to strength, it can equate to hypertrophy which is to make your muscles big or to make you get all puffed up and to get swole, prison swole. But anyways, guys, if you guys need any help with your calisthenics journey, go to my website, that's hybridathlete.io. Uh, you can book a consultation with me on there. You can scoop up one of my programs or you can purchase one-on-one -on -one coaching from me. Hope everybody's having a great day out there. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Peace.